how to get Jimmy jacked on low carb. So it's not politically correct, but in the world of uh, strength conditioning, anything over 10% body fat is deemed fat. So I'm fat, just saying I'm fat. Since I'm fat, I'm owning up to it. Um, I have to go very, very, very low carb, but how to go low carb and still maintain some of that strength or how to time carbohydrates. And so uh, the rule of thumb is the reps dictate the carbs. I just finished doing uh, 66 reps nonstop on shoulders. So I'm gonna have carbs. And this will be all the carbs I have for the day. So how to replenish glycogen. First of all, glutamine. So 10 grams of glutamine will do the trick even though it's a protein. So that's really good, especially with lactic training. It will help uh, make more growth hormone. And to maintain my size, I will put two, three grams of creatine in it. And then my go-to, I respond really well. I've done lab testing on it. I respond super well to beef protein. And then to keep my uh, thyroid revving up, believe it or not, you can have carbs to get lean. And here's a good trick. It's uh, pure cranberry juice. It has to be pure cranberry. It has to say not from concentrate. There's a little bit of iodine in there, so one to two ounces, which is like a shot glass, once or even twice a day, is a carbohydrate that you actually will get lean on. It's a great antioxidant too. So I did shoulders, so I antioxidants, I'm getting some iodine. And if you do real juice, real pineapple juice, real orange juice, pretty high in manganese, but it's also um, will punch the liver and kind of reset it. So if you keep it below four ounces, you can actually get pretty lean on it, pretty jacked on it. Once you exceed four ounces plus, if you're fat, you probably will get fatter. So knowing when to have the carbs at what time to get Jimmy jacked when you're not lean.